Hey guys, Ms. Jacoby here. Ms. Thompson. We are here to talk to you today about some online resources for the new math series, My Math. Yes, and we are going to show you guys how you can log on to the McGraw-Hill website um, and you can use it from your home. So stay tuned. Here you go. We have a parent with us today. I'm the parent. And I don't know how to get online to help my student with their math lessons. Well, I can help with that. All of the students got this green bookmark at BMS at the very beginning of the year. At the bottom, there is a login to your Gmail account and Google Classroom. That's going to be step one. You're going to need to access that information in order to get on to the uh, My Math on their waffle, which we'll show you here shortly. If you cannot find this, this is also on the library webpage um, as well for the Beaker Middle School. So uh, here we go. All right, guys, now we're going to show you how to actually log in to a student's Gmail account. So you're going to go to Google and then you're going to get into their Gmail account and you can push this tab or you can actually just push um, type in www.gmail.com. So we're going to click this. I'm going to add an account here. You guys might not have to do this part. And all of their emails will have the same ending. So at s.marshallowls.com. And their passwords should be capital O owls and then their lunch number. Okay, now we're in. We're going to go to the waffle up here in the top right. We're gonna click on it and then you're gonna go down to more. You're going to see down here this red tab that says McGraw Hill Education. It's right under Brain Pop here. And you're going to click on it. Once you've clicked on it, um, sometimes you might have to re enter your email and password, but if not, you're going to come to this web page. And this is where you guys will actually access your student's math book. All right, guys, now that you are into this screen, this is the beginning of their uh, math book. And there's a couple things we're going to show you today. The first thing is we're going to show you how to get on their ebook. You're going to see over here in this right corner the ebook. And this is actually going to be the exact book that the students have at school. So since they can't take these home anymore, this will be a great resource for you to use. You guys will see down here that you can actually put in the specific pages that you need to find. So for instance, say I wanna find page 120. I'm gonna type in page 120 down here on the bottom and I will see exactly what the kids have as their resource. You can push this button down here that says one page view and that will give you just the specific page you're looking for. You can also make it fit to the screen which is very convenient especially if you um, can't see those small words. You can just scroll down. So this would be an example of page 120 in their book. If you want to change pages you can push these arrows to go over or you can come back down here and choose the page that you're wanting to visit. So this is an example of possibly a homework assignment. Say the student forgot their homework or maybe doesn't have this worksheet anymore. You guys can actually use this page to maybe have them write it down on a blank piece of paper or something and then they can still complete their homework. Okay, now we're going to show you how to get into a few other things. Now we're back to our original page. We are going to hit on these blue tabs. You have to hit the blue tabs to get to the specific chapter and page that you're wanting. So for instance, if you want chapter one, lesson one, 
you're going to have to click that. So you see up here on these blue tabs, it says Chapter 1, Lesson 1. You can go up to the little hamburger up here. And these are some resources that you can use. Okay, We're going to show you all of these tabs, the lesson resources. The ABC is the vocabulary of that lesson. And these are the tutors. This is very helpful. These are going to be online tutors. And as you can see, we have them in English and Spanish. These are going to be tutors um, for you or your child to use at home. Here is an example of a live tutor that you guys can use at home. solve a problem. Fruit. Jessica is filling bags of fruit. She fills one bag with just apples, a second bag with just oranges, and a third bag with just pears. If each apple weighs six ounces, each orange weighs eight ounces, and each pear weighs nine ounces, at what point will each of the bags have the same weight? Well, for okay, why wasn't he writing? I wanted he to be writes after. Oh, I wanted to see that oh, he could write. recording still. Oh. So that is an example of a personal tutor. And this is going to look almost identical to what we are working on in class. And if you continue playing this tutor, it's going to give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to solve this problem. This problem you'd be finding least common multiple, and he will show you exactly how to do that. So we're going to exit out. And do you guys see this math up here, this red math Glenco on the left? Anytime you click that, it's going to take you back home to your original page. So no matter where you are, you can click that and it's going to take you back. So now we're going to talk about some of these resources back over here to the right. Um, this is um, the tutor, like I mentioned. These are tools. These are interactive tools that you can use. There are manipulatives, there are toolkits. So these are vi virtual manipulatives that um, your student can use at home. It's a great resource. They have um, everything from percent fraction to decimals converting to um, base 10 blocks, a lot of cool things. And then also the e-toolkit, you can graph, you can do a lot of neat things. So we're gonna go back and remember you hit this red math button up here and that takes us back to the beginning. Now we're here. We're still over here at Lesson Resources, and we are going to click on the eHelp. This is a little house, as you can see. And when your student comes home with their homework, some questions will actually have a little house on top of them. And you can see up here, we're going to go to Lesson 2, Ratios. Wait, we're going to have to stop. We are in the eHelp, and like I said, you'll see this little house. In your students' assignments, there's at least one or two problems normally that will have this little house on a certain number. Um, make sure over here on the left that you're in the right chapter and the right lesson. So right now we're in chapter one and we are on lesson two ratios. So I'm going to click on this step-by-step -step solutions. This is really beneficial, especially if you're not caught up on your child's math here. Um, this will give you exactly how to solve a problem. So you will see this one says um, question number three and it has a house on it. This is actually the question on their homework. A class has six boys and 15 girls. What is the ratio of boys to girls? So it sets the problem up for you and it even goes all the way down to actually giving you the answer. This is really beneficial. So on this assignment, there was obviously question three and question seven that had e-help. So now we're gonna go back. You can click back on your tab here. And we're gonna go back to our original page right here. Um, this is the tutor. 
this is um, watching videos, extra help here. And then this is check. This is a self check. So say your student maybe wants to see how well they're doing or maybe you want to check them. They can always click on this and they, this gives you immediate feedback. So it's a multiple choice little quiz here. This one has five questions. And when you're done, you can grade the quiz and it'll, it will give you immediate feedback. So you will be able to see how much um, your kids are retaining in class. Exit out of that. So again, make sure you always click this red math word up here and that'll take you back to the beginning. Make sure you're always on the right chapter, these blue tabs, and the right lesson if you're wanting to go into any of the resources. Remember, this is the ebook. This tells you exactly what the student has in their hands in the classroom. Very beneficial. You always have this search magnifying glass as well, and you can always type something specific in there that you're wanting. Say, I want chapter... Chapter 1, Lesson 1, and I want to look up some resources for that. You can always look in the search button and find something more specific for you. We have English language learners. There's a lot of um, language help here. You guys can watch some videos. We'll click on that. These are real life videos. So this is um, this is a video about winter, but it's going to incorporate something in with the lesson. So maybe tracking your speed or um, finding some type of information. Let's click it and see what it says. Winter. People in the Northern Hemisphere experience winter when the North Pole is oriented away from the sun because of the tilt of the Earth's axis. So that's just an example. They really try to make this real life connection with math. And so all of these videos will be connecting real life um, to your math. Okay guys, so that was part one of the video. Yes, um, part one. Part one. <laughs> there are so many things you can do online with this resource. Uh, we have just touched the bare bones of it. Uh, so stay tuned for later in the year when we will come back and do part two. Yes, sounds great. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to email or reach out to us. Thank you. Bye. Bye.